Hello, welcome to GWL. My name is Peter and today I would like to present to you advantage and benefits of GVL CPM. And of course, I will show you how to connect it to the battery. Now, you can see the basic connection with 12V battery. At first, connect the wiring harness to the battery. For 12V, it's 5 cables. The first one is pointed to negative pole and the rest are connected to the positive pole. Then connect the second part of the cable to the CPM. First, GND cable and then one cable for each cell. Here also you can see the other output. U cells, external output, U min, U max and emergency output. Set up battery protection limits and connect the two wiring harness together. For the 8 volt connection. Now we turn it on and you can see LED light indicates the number of the cells. It is always one LED for each cell, 16 for 48 volt battery. The multicolor LEDs also indicate the highest and lowest voltage cells and the operating status of the module. Here you can measure the lowest and the highest voltage of all connected cells. This is our first born from GWL modular family. We developed it here in a laboratory in the Czech Republic, in the middle of Europe. As a flexible solution, it will be compatible with the related GWL products. The next in series we are working on will be a battery communication controller. Later, also followed by a cells auxiliary balancer. The battery communication controller coming soon. We have the first test batch in production right now. Here we can see whole connection. 4 to volt battery pack with charger, DC-AC inverter from Victron and CPM with the bistable relays in the wall box. As allowed in this demonstration, we will use the tape lamp. By pressing the reset start button, the system starts working. All the devices are connected to the battery. By pressing the load stop button, we simulate reaching the lowest permitted voltage per cell, which will cause switching the bistable relay and disconnecting the load. The reset start button resets the output and turns on the load. By using the charge stop button, we simulate the maximal set voltage per cell. As you can see, the charger has stopped. By the pressing reset start button, we reset the output and turn on charging. Then, by pressing the load stop button and charge stop button, we disconnect everything from the battery. And once again, we press reset start and the load turns on. It has very low power consumption and a function of battery emergency, including self-disconnection and shutdown. That means when the battery is almost discharged, the CPM disconnects itself to prevent damage to the battery.